So people just have to, a big part of the education we work on with people now is separating pain from injury. Because most people have this belief that pain means something's damaged in their body. And in a lot of cases, that's not true. You can have pain and absolutely no injury. There's a lot of people who go have MRIs who have severe back pain and have nothing, no findings. And then you can have people who have severe injuries who don't experience pain. You know, you have lots of these stories from like situations like with different athletes where they're like in the heat of the moment in a sport and break a bone or something and don't even they tear a tendon. They don't experience any pain. You hear lots of stories of this from like soldiers in wartime situations where something really severe happens. They don't experience pain at the time. And you can think of less severe things too, like all of us have probably like woken up and saw a bruise and we don't remember anything ever hurting or how we got it. So that's, all the time. Yeah. That's an injury. There's injury. The injury happened and your tissue's healing, but you don't recall having pain. So pain and injury are different things. And I think the main thing for people to know is that pain does not always mean that something's damaged in your body, especially when you're talking about something like tendinopathy, which so many of us are going to have. 